Hi, welcome to Americana Outdoors. I'm David West, and this is Alaska. Right here behind me is Cook Inlet, one of the most fertile fisheries in the whole world. And today, we're going to be fishing Cook Inlet for giant halibut. So stay where you are. Great show coming up today on Americana Outdoors. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter, brings you Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is also brought to you by Garmin, Sounders, and GPS. Ranger Boats, still building them one at a time. Back Off, Non-Tobacco Chew. Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Fish Eagle Rods and Reels. Daiwa Rods and Reels. Mercury Outboard Motors. And by Laser Gun Bore Sighting System. Cabela's, the outdoor experience. Cabela's can outfit all your outdoor needs through one of our specialty catalogs. Call toll free or order online 24 hours a day. Cabela's wants you to take advantage of everything the great outdoors has to offer with our complete money back guarantee. Cabela's, hunting, fishing, and a whole lot more. Give us a call for one of our catalogs or order online at cabelas.com. Today on American Outdoors, we're putting in at Nanilchek, Alaska's Cook Inlet, a fantastic fishery with a diverse variety of game fish. Our objective today, though, is to catch huge Alaskan halibut. I'm joined today by my wife, Betsy, Fred and Jackie Neal of Cabela's, and our guide is Mike Flores of Nanilchek Charters. Here, hold on to your weight there. Okay. Get you some bait. What, what are we using? Are these herring? These are herring, and these are locally caught. These were caught um, the last week of April, and uh, we got them right from the boat. Yeah. And, uh, double hook, run them. Yeah, I just run them through twice. Mm -hmm. That circle hook is, is such an advantage. You don't really have to set that hook on them. If that fish takes that bait, he's hooked. The, uh, the studies we've seen done um, were done on long line. They were done circle hook, and then they ran a, a J hook parallel to it, mm -hmm. and they had more successful hooks on the, the circle hook than they did J-hooks. So, that's, so that's why we use them, especially on the halibut. It works out good yeah. with the way their mouth is. Now, an invisible leader doesn't make a lot of difference with a halibut, does it? It doesn't seem to. Yeah, look what Mike's using here. We, this, almost, is, this is Ganyan. This is the same Ganyan that the, that the commercial guys use. Yeah, just so. just a, a heavy stout line. Just a heavy stout line, yeah. Well, I've got Jackie, a you got a bite? Yes, I do. I don't know how big he is. All right, and here he comes, got color. <laughs> All right. Not a real big one. I think we'll throw him back. Okay. This is about a 10 pounder. Hold him up there, Mike. Let me see. Let me just get him off the hook here in a second. Where will okay. we go? Pretty fish. Yeah. That's about 10 pound halibut. You got this is the dark side is our natural camouflage, and you got the white side, which is what lays down all the time. Mm -hmm. That's still a baby. How old do you think that fish is? Probably about five years old. Well, those are slow growers. Right. Most of the uh, most of the halibut we catch in Cook Inlet are females. Um, the females grow faster than the males. But uh, okay. let's turn this. Yeah. How Why can you tell? That? Why are there more females? I don't know. Just um, according to Fish and Game, that um, they're saying that 90 to 92 percent of all the fish we catch out here are females. But your males 
your males will only grow to about 40 pounds. So all the big fish that we catch out here, those are all female. All female. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got, you got yeah. a fish? Yes, what you, I got one. You sure? Yeah, well, I'm positive. I think he's got you. <laughs> That's not that three pound weight there. <laughs> All right, Beth, come oh, we, got, we, got, we got a belt for you? What? <laughs> Hang on to the pole. Don't lose that pole. Put, put that belt on for you. Okay, put, put it in the rod holder. Yes, yeah, you got it, man. Yeah, yeah. let me get it, yeah. Oh, we need a gap. No, it's a little bigger. Just go ahead so far now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty nice fish. Yeah. Just Stay running around. Right around. Yeah. That's a nice fish, yeah. Beth. Cool. Well, thanks, Dave. <laughs> a little better? A little better. That one will play. Yeah. Probably in a 15 pound range? Yeah. Uh, this is probably, this is for cooking, this is your average fish. This is what we catch. This is a fish that we want to keep. You know, this is a fillet we want to bring home. You know, it's a. Uh, I'm not really excited about fighting a 200 pounder. No, but you know, these are some of the best eaten. Off of each off each halibut, you'll get four fillets. You get two off of each side, and then you get two off the white side. Yeah. Now, how much, you get a lot of return on meat off a of halibut, too. Um, we'll get about 60% 60 of the meat. 60% of the fish. So if this is a 15-pound fish, we're going to get about nine pounds of, of meat of meat back up. Mm -hmm. uh, nine, nine pounds of boneless meat. Boneless meat fillets. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in a box. Okay. Hey, Vince, nice job. <laughs> All right, thank you. That'll make us a few meals, huh? That'll make us a few meals. <laughs> Thanks, babe. We have to cook that puppy right now. Let's do it. Daiwa, the finest reels in the world, and for the finest selection of all Daiwa products, look in your Cabela's catalog. Call this 800 number right now and get your free Cabela's catalog. Thanks to your spreading the word, Back Off Non Tobacco Snuff has sold millions of cans and helped thousands of people just like you change their chewing habits. We want to thank you for telling your friends about us, but now we're asking you to tell your favorite store. And we would like to reward you for your efforts. Call this 800 number right now and find out how you can get free Back Off just by asking for it in your favorite store. After all, it ought to be easy for everyone to find Back Off. Call now for details and thanks again for your support. Legendary reputations don't happen overnight. And genuine integrity is hard earned. Inside every ranger is a vision Forest Wood began more than three decades ago. A vision of total dedication to quality, where craftsmanship and a passion for excellence continually set the standards. A vision so powerful that today building legends isn't just a goal, it's what we do. Are you out of ink? Don't throw away that empty ink cartridge. Refill it with the Universal Refill Kit System. This refill system works on all inkjet cartridges and printers. It's environmentally safe, and most cartridges can be refilled up to six times, saving you money. There are some refill systems that use a syringe, an awkward system that's messy and must be cleaned after every use, but not the universal refill system. From the kit, select the ink color, locate the refill hole plug on the cartridge, insert the needle, and fill. It's as easy as that. No mess. If you're a student printing homework or just getting ready for a special event, you need the refill system for your printer. And think how much money you can save at the office. Hundreds of dollars just by refilling each cartridge. The Universal Refill Kit system is only $24.95. Every color you need to refill your printer cartridge. Order now and receive at no extra charge a year's worth of cartridge cleaner. Call now. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Well, if you were here with us last week, this is a continuation up from 300 feet. <laughs> A little deep out here today. <laughs> Middle of Cook Inlet. Uh, I don't know what you say. It's just not fighting like a halibut. No, it's probably a cod. We got Pacific cod out here in Cook Inlet. Well, just there, over there. Now I see some color. Now we got color coming up. It looks like looks, a cod. That is a cod. Yeah. Are they good to eat? Well, I guess they are. The commercial people they uh, they use cod pots in the winter time and harvest them out here. But uh, but the halibut feed on these. We're going to use this guy for bait. We're going to use him for bait. We're put him use, back here. We're going to put the whole thing out for bait. Well, okay. This is, this would be nothing for a 200-pound fish to take the whole bait, the whole fish. Well, let's put him on a line. Well, if nothing else, we can catch him again. Great. We're going to uh, 
pull the fillets off, though. Well, is that's a, a what they consider a cold deep water fish, the cod, the right? Pacific cod, right? Pacific cod, and you can see them commercially in a lot of markets. Be a good fish. You got a good one on, or? <laughs> I can't tell since I haven't caught one. You know, this is my first. Yeah, but he looks pretty. Did the? Okay. Well, he's not now. Okay. Uh, he looks like a little guy. We're gonna release yeah, him. He looks like a chick. We'll let this guy go. The three pounds of weight really yeah. pull you. Especially when he's wrapped around a 20 pounder. Oh, yeah. We've had fish this size on before. Yeah. I've had big halibut come up and hit the the fish we actually hooked. And eat the little guys. And eat the little guys. We um we didn't land the big one, but we could tell it was definitely halibut. You could see the teeth marks across both sides all the way down. Is that right? Big fish. And it takes about a 200-pound fish to get a halibut that size in his mouth. Oh, yeah. So, Okay. Well, there's fish here anyway. Oh, yeah. We've had a pretty good bite. We just need to put a few more in them. It's coming up awfully quick. What you got there? Not much. Oh, let's put him in the box. That's good. Okay. Right over here. Right now. Better than we've been getting. Oh, come on. Big yep. fish. Nice fish. Yep. Biggest so far. Now, wait a minute. What did you say? Biggest so far. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on so far. We're not done yet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. There's bigger fish. In the yeah. Sea. That nice fish, fish was bigger than what yeah. I thought he was. Yeah. yeah. He came up Which awful easy. All right. Did you pull that one oh, yeah. down. Oh, you think he got stripped? No. Yes. Okay, that's gonna be a little wall down 260 feet. Here, bits. finish this one. You need my help here? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you hold. All right, you hold I, me. I like this kind of fishing. <laughs> here, now let me help you with okay. it a little bit. Okay, all right, reel down. Reel hold down. Back there you go, hold that's a go. Up. Okay. I think that's a pretty good fish, too. Hey, Mike. What kind of a weight is on this? A lid one. Three pound size How weight? How are you doing? I'm, yeah. I'm doing all right. She's bringing it up. She's doing fine. He so must not be so very big, though, because that, that was a small weight, isn't it? Well, 260 feet of water. Okay. okay, we got color coming up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's keep her. Yes, sir. Is that what we call a keeper? Yeah. Come on. Good job, Ed. Thank you, dear. Here, let me hold that for you. Mm. Hold that weight. Oh, my God. Good hit. Nice fish. Look at there. Look at that. Right. Look at that. There you go. Good job, dude. So the, That's a great fish. <laughs> so there are two kinds of fish. We have a right and a left-handed halibut. This, no. is, this is a right-handed halibut because he's got the eyes on the dark side. Your left-handed halibut would swim like this with the eyes on the white side. And only 2% are left-handed. Is that, is that a different species? or No, just it's, it's a halibut. It's just right or left-handed. Right or left-handed. And so occasionally you'll catch them with eyes on the white side. So Fred would swim with his white belly up. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you guys are serious? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm and, not. He is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a nice fish. This is gorgeous. Out of, each, out of each halibut, you're going to get four. Four fillets. You get two off the dark side, yeah. and you're gonna get two off the white side. And this is his backbone right there. A good size for grilling. Oh boy. Oh, that's a eater. That's the best kind. That's the ones we want to take home. Okay. Hey, good job, Betsy. Good job, Dave. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Mike. <laughs> good job, dear. Good job. All right. We'll get you baited back up and get you out again. All right. Let's right, go right go. behind you. You know, let's. <sighs> Sun hurting your eyes? Just a little bit. I had to put my glasses. Oh. Well, good. You know, if you're going to go halibut fishing in Alaska, you need to call Cabela's because they've got everything you need. Call this 800 number right now and ask for halibut <laughs> or just get a free Cabela's catalog.
I die was TDX Baitcaster, you know what extreme performance is all about. Now they've added Mag Force, which automatically applies your drag when you need it most, then backs off so it spins freely. For pitching lightweight jigs and baits, nothing else comes close. Check out Daiwa's TDX and new TDS reels with MagForce V. I'm Denny Brower, and Daiwa's extreme performance is awesome. There's a simple idea behind the new Genesis trolling motor. It features the push-button ease of power stow and deploy. The control of power steering with autopilot. The convenience of power trim. The new Minkota Genesis. Pushing all the right buttons to help you catch fish. Call toll-free today. No matter what you're fishing for, Fish Eagle has it. Available at Cabela's. Kershaw Knives. Built to deliver, built to perform. Only the Kershaw Multi-Tool has locking needle nose pliers for one-handed blade opening and closing. And the five replaceable tools, an absolute must for the field. And the Kershaw Game Shears, durable stainless steel shears for the toughest cutting jobs. Call Cabela's and order your Kershaw Multi-Tool and Kershaw Game Shears today. Kershaw Knives, built to deliver, built to perform. Well, are you getting closer, Fred? For an added challenge, I'm using a left-handed reel. Well, watch the motors. Watch it down, down, no, watch it down, watch it down, 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 yeah, down, down. Yeah, yeah. Come under me. Yeah, you anyway, that's a good fish, right? Yeah, right. it is. Well, it's not mine. Can you get that? Here, somebody get that. Let me get this. There you go. Okay. I got that one out. Yep, Greg. Oh, the way it's fighting, it's like a king salmon. <laughs> you got it? Now he's going out. Uh oh. Huh. Uh oh. Fred? All right, Fred. All right. I'd say, yeah. it's a, I'd say it's a halibut, because we had him straight underneath the boat for a second there, and then he yeah. decided to run. That's a halibut. Oh, That's Fred, not a bell skate. No. No. Dang it. <laughs> I'd like to feel the weight of the fish, though. OK? Oh, Just God. crank it down. No. Can we give me that rod? <laughs> <laughs> you got to do this all the time. No, I just want to feel the weight. I want to see what we're dealing with, though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He gives it up in a hurry. <laughs> C-note. I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, All right, Fred. This Come on, fish... work on him. Pump that left hand there, Fred. Fred, you've had this fish on for about 15 minutes now. Yeah, he, I know. He ran, <laughs> ran three times. At least three, yeah. Yeah. Initially, he, ran, he ran twice with Jackie. Initially, we thought he was escaped just from the way he was acting, but uh, now he's straight down. This is typical for halibut. And now he just... What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You had collar? Coming around? Coming ah. around. Okay. Son oh, right here. Oh, 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 look, oh, at, this. look, look at, at this. Look at this. Get the rod down. Get the rod tip down. Get the rod, rod tip, tip down. down. Get the rod tip down. That's down. Oh, you're in the motor. Oh, oh. motor. Darn it. He's right there. He's out. He's out. He's out. Okay. He's out. Oh, man, that's a big fish. He's out. Okay. Let's crank Dave, up. talk to me. We're going to do something. Let's crank up. Let's put him in a boat. Okay. Put him in the boat, Mike. You'll, Take this one. you'll see him. Here he comes. Yeah. Here he comes. Oh, he's snagged. That's why. Oh, man. We got to get him on a. He's barely hooked. <clears throat> one more time. One more time, Fred. One more time. Wow. Nice fish. Just crank it up. You need some help, Mike? Ooh. One more time. Bring him around. Bring him around. Bring him around. I'm trying. I know. I know. <laughs> Harpoon's in. You got him? Yep. That went into the boat, Mike. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at we're listing. <laughs> okay. Good job. 
Good job, Jer. Fred, or Dave, well, hey. this one? I got a fish on back here. How big? He's a little guy. Oh, this is nice. Hey, no comparison to this, this one. This is really nice. Good job, Fred. <laughs> Look at the size of this halibut. Oh, this is what we were after. Yeah. Okay. Kind of ashamed to keep him, but after all of that, I don't think yeah. he would have lived. He was. Yeah. But one thing about it, Fred, we don't have to keep any more fish. <laughs> we got all <laughs> we the halibut all that, we yeah. need. There you go. You realize what this? This is a nice fish. This yeah. is probably a hundred and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Left handed reel. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Dare. Okay. We, we try to give a handicap okay. here, you know, a little bit. Don't want to make it too easy. Here's what we got to hey, do. What do you want to do? We gotta, I'm going to clear the path because it's going to take two or three of us to get him up. Okay. All right. You want to hold that, David? Well, or get one of the gals to hold it. Let me help you out with that. Yes. Okay. Get Ready, Fred? Yep. Oh, yeah. Now, come on, get a slam, so. Oh, oh ooh, ooh. Right. man. You okay? You all right, Fred? <laughs> oh. Was that your toe? No, that was that weight. Hit oh. me right in oh. the knee. Look That's at this smart. fish. Yeah. Look at that. Look huh? at this fish. <laughs> Gorgeous. Don't you do it. Come here, Vince. Wow. Look at that. Look at that mouth. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. I can see how they could eat a carcass. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. The size. So, Jackie, it's... you need to hold him up so you can get a photo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a photo at the house. I gotta, yeah. Nice fish. You got a tape measure? <laughs> come on, Mike. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't even do it. Well, Jackie, why don't you lay down there by the fish and yeah. get a picture? Put your arm around it. <laughs> wow. I can't anyway. even believe it. Good fish. That's Great. just a gorgeous fish. Here? Congratulations. Put that on the grill, so, okay, right, so look down in his mouth. You see the back teeth in there? See the teeth way yeah. down in there on the sides? Those are where it crunch up the crabs. Mm. Yeah. Look at the mouth on that thing. Mm -hmm. Don't bite me. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, look at all those teeth. Double rows. Yeah. <laughs> a little better? Yeah. <laughs> we definitely got a trophy picture of you coming, dear.